Places like this um, are all about maintaining a balance with nature and um, appreciating the role the natural world plays in our presence here on the planet and not just using it as a resource that can be exploited. This type of art for me is really all about heart and soul and just um, attempting to get people's attention and to make a statement and um, you know if at all possible to wake some people up. I feel that street art in general is a conversation with a much larger, larger audience. And, uh, you know, not everyone's going to enjoy what they see. But I feel that this particular work at Valle de Oro is a call to arms to um, appreciate that we don't have a lot of time left, really, to do what we can to save the planet, to save our uh, biosphere. This is a clarion call piece. I created my own story. Panel one questions our relationship with nature. Is it an antagonistic relationship? Is it an inviting relationship? Um, are we intrigued by what we see in nature? Um, or repulsed? <laughs> what is that dynamic? I identify as a visual storyteller. Um, I am a child of the 60s in that I was raised on uh, the weekly news publication Life magazine and Look magazine. And I remember vividly, you know, the photo essays of Eugene Smith and Gordon Parks that would appear in those publications and you know I just love turning the pages and looking at the images and seeing how people live in other parts of the world and the people who were being documented photographed weren't necessarily famous people but just everyday people so I came away from that with the sense that everyone has a story to tell and it's really a matter of um, developing a relationship a trusting relationship with people such that you can not only hear their story, but present their story or share their story in a way that honors them. I'm trained as a physician, and in my role as a physician, I'm attempting to help people obtain optimal health so they can realize their better selves. And I think, you know, through my art, I'm attempting to uplift the human spirit and to make the world a better place. So yeah, I'm a dreamer, um, but I'm a dreamer who's wide awake. <laughs> yeah. I would like to think that art challenges the way we perceive the ordinary, you know? Um, the example I use frequently for that is I throughout my career as a photographer, when I started when I was 12 years old, have always enjoyed shooting in black and white as opposed to color. Uh, just because I think, you know, you're seeing something that's familiar, yet your brain has to process it a little differently because of the tonal range, you know, it's in black and white, it's not in color. So maybe in perceiving it differently, something registers and it'll trigger, I don't know, um, a connection to something else that there's a shift in perception and reception and action.
panel two um, speaks to a dialogue. Where we are clearly observing nature and uh, maybe we are trying to extend ourselves in some way to it. And panel three speaks to a deeper understanding of humans and elements within nature and um, there being um, some synchronicity and resolution of the tension that may have been there initially. It's all about the process of creating with good intention, you know, and love, and then, um, then just letting that go and it's the act of creation that in and of itself is healing. There, I think, can oftentimes be an indication of where to go next or what comes next in hearing stories or seeing stories. Um, I think it's a growth tool. And um, yes, yeah, so I see myself as part of that lineage of people who tell stories attempting to give guidance and direction and insight and perception.